Shanda. We're going to stand to go in our opening prayer, but the Lord is already here. He's been here. He met us here. And we bless his name. We bless him because he blessed us. There is no other name given unto heaven whereby men must be saved. Say the name of Jesus. And we bless his name. For the name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous can run in there and be safe. We got a safe place. In the name of the Lord. And we bless his name. We don't mind. Because he's worthy to be praised. Thank God for all of you in the house, on the line, on Facebook, on Zoom. We bring you greetings from Revelation Church of Apostolic Faith. We're located here on 8229 South San Pedro Street in the city of Los Angeles, California. And we're here to praise God. We're here to magnify him. We are here at his service. Hallelujah. And we thank God for you. We're going in prayer because we're going to bless his name today. Hallelujah. Father God, in the name of Jesus, God, we bless you. We love you. We appreciate you. We magnify your name for you alone are worthy. And we give you all the glory. Oh, God, we are here today. We thank you for allowing us to enter into your gates with thanksgiving and into your course with praise. We are right here, thankful unto you. And God, we bless your name, for you are good, and your mercy endured forever. God, in the name of Jesus, we are here, and we don't want nothing to hinder our prayer. So God, in the name of Jesus, we're asking you to forgive. Forgive, Lord. You said the prayer made in this place, you will hear it, and you will forgive. You will heal. You will save and deliver. God, we ask you to forgive sin, oh God, in the name of Jesus. Sin committed and omitted. Sin known and unknown. Sometimes we do things and we just didn't know we did it. But God, we thank you for your love and your mercy that's extended. And we thank you for your forgiveness. God, we thank you for your love because you died. You sent your son to die on the cross for us. God, and we understand. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! It was love that kept him there. Hallelujah! It was love that got him up. Hallelujah! And you set the Holy Ghost power to save and keep us. God, we thank you. God, we thank you. God, we thank you for life, health, and strength, food, and shelter. God, we thank you for the activities of our limbs. God, we thank you. Hallelujah, because you woke us up this morning. You didn't have to do it, but you did. You brought us to the sanctuary. Hallelujah, Shanda. And we thank you, and we praise you. Oh, God, in the name of Jesus. Somebody right now, God, is not feeling well in their body. Somebody right now is sick. Somebody right now have heavy burdens, oh, God. Somebody is heavy laden. Somebody's mind is messed up. Somebody's heart is broken. Somebody need comfort, God. Somebody need to be saved. Somebody need to be filled with the Holy Ghost. God, you came to meet the needs, God. Hallelujah. Somebody need a financial blessing, a door open, a way made. You're here, God, to meet the needs. Hallelujah. 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 You are here for our needs, God. You are here to meet the needs according to your riches in heaven. Oh, God, and the earth is yours. The fullness thereof and the world and they that dwell therein. So, God, we thank you right now in advance. We thank you by faith that all needs are met. I said all needs are met. I speak it in the name of Jesus. All needs are met. Little of a Sunday in the name of Jesus. Oh God, remember our pastor. Hallelujah. And our elect Lady Perkins, oh God. Remember them, God. The heart, their heart desires. God strengthen their hands in the work of the Lord. Strengthen their faith, oh God. Help them, oh God, to go forth in your name according to your will, God, as they lead this flock right here. 
in the name of Jesus. Lord, bless your people everywhere. The pastors everywhere. The bishops everywhere. In the name of Jesus. Oh, God, the sick everywhere. We don't pray selfishly, but you got people all over, God. You know them name by name, one by one. Bless your people everywhere. All those that's calling on your name, even those that's not yet of the fold. Oh, God, bring them in while there's yet time. Bless your people everywhere. Everywhere. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. Oh, God, we send that blessings of healing to Pastor David Richardson, oh, God. To our cousin Faye, oh, Lord. The comfort to the Moore family, oh, God. Oh, God, in the name of Jesus. And all those that need you in whatever way, form, or fashion. And, God, we came to bless you. Have your way in our midst. Have your way, God, while we praise you. Exit God while we praise you. God, we are able and we believe you. That's why we praise you. That's why we bless you. That's why we worship you. That's why we're here. Hallelujah. And we say, yes, you will. Hallelujah. Your glory, God. The glory is yours. Hallelujah. In Jesus' name we pray. Hallelujah. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. At this time, let me give you this disclosure. Shout out to Ellie King. He's in the room, y'all. I said, shout out to Ellie King. King, that's his song. Hallelujah. But let me let you know, he's in the room. Whatever you need, whether you be on Zoom, He's here. Oh, my shot. He's there. He's Jehovah Shammah. So get what you need. Don't leave the way you came. In Jesus' name. You don't have to, but it's your choice. Because he's in the room to meet the needs. And we thank him right now. We praise him. We glorify him as we hear the reading of the word from Evangelist Clark. Can we say amen? Hallelujah. Can we say amen? Amen. Hallelujah. 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 Our scripture this morning is coming from Psalms 31. I'll be reading starting at the 19th verse. Oh, how great is thy goodness, which thou hast laid up for them that fear thee, which thou hast wrought for them that trust in thee before the sons of men. Thou shalt hide them in the secret of thy presence from the pride of man. Thou shalt keep them secret. For I said in my haste, I am cut off before the eyes. Nevertheless, thou heardest the voice of my supplications. When I cried unto thee, O oh, love the Lord, O oh, ye his saints. For the Lord preserveth the faithful, and plentiful rewardeth the proud doer. Be of good courage. And he shall strengthen your heart, all ye that hope in the Lord. I think that he heard us. (laughs) 
Now let me tell you something. Have this scripture before you pray. It's cool. I'm telling you. When I read it before service. He heard. He heard. He heard. He heard. He heard. He heard. He Stop it, 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 stop it
Step in, step in. Step in till the atmosphere was already set. The atmosphere was set in Sunday school. You See that strong city, that strong man is getting broken. It's getting broken. <laughs> See, we're praising them, but if you ready to get home, I love to get home. Stop. I Oh. Oh, ho, ho. Thank you, Chief. He said, Blessed is the one that trusts in me. Trust him, trust him. All so right. as you praise him, if you believe it, if you believe he heard you, that's where your praise is going to come from. Because he said, the one that trusts in me, so I can dance. I am on my shelter. I can shout because I trust. Oh, have your way. Now, let me say something about this scripture. When he said he heard the voice of my supplications. You know that says what your what your lips couldn't say. See, he said the voice of my supplication. So I mean, sometimes you just that much in pain. Sometimes you that much embarrassed. Sometimes you that long with your lips. Can't do it. But all you need to do is get in the front of the ball. You get in the front of the ball. 
All I gotta do is get in the presence. Because you created me. I just gotta get in your presence. I gotta move. My lips gotta move, but I just gotta get in your presence. What the voice of my supplication is speaking to your presence. Do something for me, y'all. See, I'm speaking to that one that thinks they can't talk. See, we try to cover. See, God is a God of the whole man. So when you feel you can't open your mouth, that's why that scripture is saying voice of my supplication. We want to make that clear. Because some people don't understand sometimes the scripture. But when you come before God sometimes, the enemy will work hard on your mouth. So you can't cry out with your lips because that's what you think first. I have to, ah, God, help me. Ah, you have to do that. But the scriptures say, the Bible says, the voice of my heart the voice of my supplication. That mean I came with a contrite heart. That's I, I came with a hurt heart. I came with a broken spirit. For whatever you was broken from, from whatever was done to you, that made you feel like God didn't love you, like God wasn't with you. But when you got into the process, Father said his train filled the temple. His train don't come in for nothing. He don't show up for nothing. We praised him. See, we can we shout. We getting stressed. Because when we step out of this building, we got to live. We got to be the light that shines among men. So one way to brighten your life is to pull from the energy. <laughs> so the light can burn. So why we shouting? But if you ain't got no light yet, you better plug in. See, this is here. We are here for you to plug in, for you to step in. You ain't got to be jealous. You just got to plug in. Plug in so you can get some juice. Let me say it like a street say. You know when they say, I got juice. I got the juice. It just so, it just so happens. Our juice is the oil. Hey. Right? So, you want the oil. You want some juice. <laughs> You can get some juice. But you know, we all, you know, they'll say get the, get the Gatorade to put the electrolytes back in. But he said in this scripture, God is my strength. So that takes place of the Gatorade. He's the juice. So if you want some juice, all you got to do is ask today. All you got to do is step in today. The atmosphere was set because God knew you were coming. See, he knows you. We may just meet you, but
but he knows you because he know you got some questions. He know you got, Lord, what is it that I'm seeking? What is it that I need? I need something. I don't like some situations I face when I go home. I don't like the atmosphere sometimes. But what do I do? Who can I call on to change the atmosphere, to change the situation? I may not be saved, but God, what can I do? I got to get somewhere where somebody can show me what can I do. I'm getting ready to tell you. He set the atmosphere. So right now, because you're asking, The scripture didn't just come out the blue. He said, secretly. Did you hear the word secret? That was just somebody in this room. You're still in this room because you're tuned in. Somebody on Zoom because you're tuned in. You're in the room. You had a question. What do I do? And you asked it secretly. Your heart asked. That's why the Bible says the voice of my supplication. You can it secretly to the God that created you, the God that loved you. So you were coming today. So that you were going to tune in today. So he said, I have. The voice of your salvation. You're asking about me. To asking me secretly, I'm gonna let you go to a place where you don't have to necessarily be secret. We're not here to bless nobody. All we here is to pray you through, introduce you to Jesus, pray you through to Jesus, until you grab hold to Jesus, and you in here, you get it. The news. This is not just for the ones that don't know God. Because it's at a certain part of the scripture. It's a science. Hallelujah. He said, I'm not the Lord of all the science. So that means some of the science. Some of the way that the Jews might be low. Might be low on Zeus. He heard the voice of your supplication. See, we real over here. We ain't faking it. Sometimes you get low. Sometimes you get despondent. Sometimes the enemy try to hit you with depression. But I'm telling you what, you just got to plug in. Get you some Gatorade. The oil Gatorade. And let the electrical light of the altar. And it ain't necessary the physical altar. The altar is where you meet God. You got to be so about to say we got a tabernacle on the go. 
So if I meet God in my car, yeah. can plug in in the car, yeah. I just got to pull over. <laughs> I just got to pull over because I'll get a DUI. And that's driving under the influence of the Holy Ghost. Now, what I meant by when I said, well, we real over here, not to say that everywhere else, too. Let me straighten that out. Because some people try to. Try to hit you with a, a spirit of offense. <laughs> and then you got to repent for no reason because you know how you meant it. But I'm going to tell you, we real. We not sitting up here talking about we don't make mistakes. We not sitting up here saying we don't have to repent. This walk calls for repentance. This walk calls for us to always cleanse ourselves. That's why we have to have a tabernacle where we go. That's why he said, Saints, because the saints need help in this day and time. Because the spirit has to come and wait. But he heard. He heard the voice of our supplication because life hits, bills hit, different loved ones pass. You start missing some of them. You get to wonder, Lord, what's going on? Because you get hit from all sides. And sometimes you just make some bad decisions. Then God has to come and get you out of it. But what he does, he walk you through. Because he hungers. He said, this poor man cry. Now, mind you, that don't mean that he didn't have the Holy Ghost. He was poor in spirit for right there. In that particular situation, he was poor in spirit. But he said this poor man. He wasn't talking about nobody else. He said this poor man cried. But he had tears. Delivered it. Not just from that, not just from this, but from all. Because he's a complete God. He don't do things halfway. All you got to do is present him. You present him in flesh. And if you hang on. You trust him. You let him hide you in his pavilion. You present him that. He'll present you fathers. Before the present. Let me go with that presence again. Tell you is something about the presence of God. No flesh is able to stand in the presence of God. If it tries to stand, it's gonna mess itself up. If it tries to move, it's gonna mess itself up. Why? Because the saints of God, we got some people that are calling that. We got some people that will say, shut the We got some people that will call me out and clean the blood. We got to move. So you can get to God. That's how you 
Lord. That's fault. That he is in his presence. He's just not going to call you into his presence. And he'll provide a way for you to get to him. So while the way is open, hey, Shama, while it's open, while the way is open, all you got to do is because he already heard you. Let me tell you something. Like I said, we're not, thank you. He's not here to blast. But because he know you, the secret, the, the, the openness of it is because he knows you. We don't know what you're going through. We don't have to know. All we know is God is calling you. And he's calling you to a better place of living, a better place of life. He wants you to live for real. He wants, you, he, wants to, he wants to allow you to live a clean life. That's what this is all about. We didn't even know why God sent us the way he sent us. All we know is we went in. Hey, that's we obeyed. And when we obey, God does what he does. But he knew because he loved you. And when they say it's in the room, it's in the room. Freedom from whatever guilt, shame, whatever problem, he'll help you work it out. He'll help you he'll see you through it. It could be anything. Nothing is too hard for God. He'll see you through any and every situation. Matters of the heart, matter of the mind. Because he's a mind regulator. You don't have to ask him. You don't have to wonder, like, oh, what they going to think of me. And look, he says, look, I ain't going to say, I ain't, don't take it like it sound like we don't care, but all I want you to do is get it. My sole goal in life is to be a witness for God. Because I want souls saved. And any way I can help you reach God, any way I can help you see God and get to God, that's what I'm going to do. He tells me to just present me. Now, if you want It's up to you, because the atmosphere is still set. It ain't just because we did just hoop, holler, shout, and we old. We can't do that for two, for a whole lot of hours. For a whole lot of hours. <laughs> after a while, we sit down, hallelujah. We gonna praise him from the seat after a while, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> he's, he's still gonna bless, because we gonna praise him. Because after a while, boy, I'm telling you, the legs get to, you be like, oh, wait. But I'm going to tell you, God is still present. And he still wants to do what he wants to do for you. It don't change. What you did yesterday didn't change him from loving you to, for you to show up today. Which it did last week, and nothing changed his love for you. Nothing. I could, I'm gonna tell you, it did. It, it didn't change if you, a murderer, drug dealer, and I'm talking to anybody out there. It didn't change his love for you. He want you to repent, be baptized in the name of Jesus for the remissions of your sins. Go down in the watery grave. He wants you to come up clean. And he, when he said, ye shall receive, that's a promise. That's a gift that he died for. He died, he did that for you. 
if nobody ever told you he died because you were coming today. He died because he knew he, you were going to come today and, and hear the word of God. He's stretching forth his hand right now. I can't make you. Now I can walk with you up here if you just want me to because I love every one of you in here. I love every one of you in here. And we right now, we're going by the way the Lord is leading. I don't want nobody to think I'm stepping over pastor. But God is calling for whatever problem that you have. Maybe you say right now, I, I, don't, I don't know if I want to repent right now. Guess what? Come to the altar and just say, God, help me with the problem that I'm having in my house. Help me with the problem I'm having on my job. Help me with the problem I'm having in just in my surrounding areas. Lord, just help me. See, help me don't have a direct direction. It just says, help me. I can't do this without the juice. I can't do this without the juice giver. I can't do it without the juice giver. I can't do it. I can't maintain when you tell me to do something. God, what do I do with what you're telling me to do? I don't understand everything that you're telling me. All I know is I need your help. And if I don't obtain your help, I'm not going to necessarily say I'm going to lose it. But I got to make it to tomorrow. I know you can help me. They said you could help me. So I'm looking for you to do that. He's a wonderful God. Glory, glory, glory. His love. That's why you're here today, because of his love. Because of his love, he saved the world. Whatever you need, glory to God. Whatever you need, glory, glory. The right time was when you recognized and said, God, help me in secret. That was the right time. When you said, Lord, help me. Even when you said, Lord, help me, I did it again. I don't want to keep doing. I don't want to keep messing up. I want to do things right. Glory. But I need your help to do that. I'm not strong enough to do that on my own. I need you to do something. Glory. It's been the Every time I put my hand in it, I mess up. I mess up, God. Every time I put my hands to it, I mess up. 
I need you to guide my thoughts. I can't do this on my own. Go. Oh, go. No, problem is too much for God. None. We need him. The saints of God need him. We need him to continue. Step back. There's a struggle. It's a struggle to do right sometimes. Because you present it with all kind of things. But guess what? God said, even in that, when you ask and you call me, when you present it with that thing, he said, I will provide a way of an escape where you can still do the right thing. And then when you stop to do the right thing, he will be there to help you. Glory. It's okay. It's okay when you don't understand. It's okay. All he want to know is, do you want me? Do you want to do the right thing in your heart? Do you want to live? I can get there. I can do that for you. Lord, if you give it to me, give it to me. Give it to me. What you do? Whatever you need, give it to me. In I'm here. Wherever you give it to me, I'm here. Glory. Glory. He's here to do it. It don't matter what it is. You'll get since he It don't matter. It don't matter it's what it is. You may think yes. Oh, he ain't gonna help me with that. Cause I, I maybe he may not help me with that, but you know, cause glory, glory, you know, glory. people say we people say I'm not supposed to be doing this, or people say I shouldn't be here, or people say I shouldn't be there. But all I know is I need help to know. He helps us. With the decision making process. We plead the blood over every enemy that comes to confuse the mind. That comes to just come to just tear the mind up. The enemy comes to steal, kill, and destroy. The enemy don't want you to hear about God. The one that actually loves you. The one that created you. He wants you to hear about that one. He don't want you to hear that God needs you for his glory. You to hear that God died for you to have eternal life. He don't want you to hear that. He don't want you to hear that that day that you could have been killed. The reason why you wasn't killed, the reason why you wasn't put in jail, was because He loved you. Not because they didn't see you. Not because somebody says something nice for you, but because God loves you. He spared you from that. Glory, glory, glory. Only you know the times that something could have happened so bad that you could have been dead and gone. That something could have happened to you. And he said, man, I just missed that. It's but know that it's because of God. He loves you just that much. Levi, he loves you 
Look at me. Yes, this time. I'm calling it out. I have to obey God. He loves you. I don't care what goes on around you. The reason that you're still here and you're walking around and I'm saying it boldly because I see what's around you. The reason and I'm saying it in authority of the Holy Ghost. The reason is because God loves you. Don't take it lightly. You have a purpose. You have a purpose. And because you have a purpose, the enemy wants to kill you. He wants to separate you from your family. Ah! Ah! Why you couldn't get up? That's why you couldn't look, even look up here.
We thank God for what he's done. Because I'm looking for testimonies. How about you? I'm looking for it. I'm looking for God to do what he said. Except for the ones that trust me. And I trust him. I thank God for the reading of the word. Because that's what I was trying to do. <laughs> well, God did what he wanted to do. Now, I'm going to turn it back into the hands of the pulpit. Now, I'm going to say what I was supposed to say at the end of that scripture. May the Lord have a blessing. <laughs> have a blessing. <laughs> to the readers. <laughs> to the hearers. <laughs> to the believers. <laughs> And the doers of his word. Amen. And he closed the book. <laughs> and he closed, you know what Jesus said when he closed the book? He said the scriptures are what? Fulfilled in your ears. So the scriptures have been fulfilled. Because he did add a blessing to the reader and we the hearers of his words. So the scripture has been fulfilled in your ears today. And guess what? He, it's only just begun. Because there's more. More. Who's ready for the more? Ay, 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 my shot. Because there's some more. You know, you could just think on it. I heard that he heard the voice of my supplication. So that's not just necessarily what I utter. Because see, my soul has a language of his own. My soul makes the supplication. Ah, and he hears that. Ah, yanamo shanda. So I know you bless. I'm not asking you, were you blessed? I know you were blessed. Amen. Because you didn't, you're not leaving the way you came. In Jesus' name, and to God be the glory for that. Amen. And we don't, we want to make sure we welcome we already know y'all, we don't know you, but you're welcome. 
Amen. Y'all family. But you about to be family. <laughs> let me let you know you're welcome. If you, anybody want to have words, you know, you are welcome to do so. You are welcome anytime our doors are open. Whatever service we have or event, you are welcome. Amen. So at this time, we want to thank God for the word of God, the move of God, the deliverance, because somebody's chains were broken. Somebody got a new start and a new beginning, and they're going to walk in it. Amen. Amen. So at this time, if you would like to have words or say something to the glory of God, you may do so at this time. And you're not pressured. Amen. Amen. If anybody. I see your lips moving. <laughs> Guess what? He heard. <laughs> God is good. Amen. Amen. And our, I want to open the doors of the church. If anyone do not have a church home. Amen. You may become a member of this church because we are family here. As Evangelist Clark said, we're not knocking anybody else's church, but we're real over here. And that's not to say we are the only ones real. He got more people too, but you're here today in this vineyard. Amen. And the Lord has need of you. Amen. So if you would like to become a member, if, if you're not, you may do so. Come at this time and we will welcome you even more on another level. Amen. Now, at this time, we want to, you, oh, you want, go ahead. <laughs> well, come on in. <laughs> God bless you. We're going to ask you, Lady P and Pastor to come down. Amen. God bless you. God bless you. Shall be praised. His name shall be praised. His name shall be praised. The name of the Lord is a mighty tower. His name shall be praised. His name shall be praised. His name shall be praised. The name of the Lord is a mighty tower. His name shall be praised. His name shall be praised. Name shall be praised. His name shall be praised. The name of the Lord is a mighty tower. His name shall be praised. His name shall be praised. His name shall be praised. The name of the Lord is a mighty tower. His name shall be praised. Praise the Lord, saints. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Glory to God. We're going to have everybody, if we can stand, and we're going to come around again to my sister and our brother, a right hand of fellowship. Great. And so, And we thank God. God is awesome. And this ain't by mistake. He, we talked about the lesson of the Sunday school was talking about positioning, repositioning. He's positioned. Glory to God. And look at what God does. Hallelujah. And then the word comes forth. Hallelujah. Says, plug in. This is the right time. Plug in. Oh, glory to God. So we're going to have the church. Everybody come again. I'm going to come around and give you the right hand of fellowship. <laughs> we pray his name shall be praised 
the name of the Lord is in my mouth. Before they sit down, she wanted to uh, uh, give their name so that everybody will know their name. And then we're going to talk to them a little bit more and, and, and take it from here. But we do know that the... Uh, the body of Christ is one thing, but then we are joining with the uh, uh, house of believers, hallelujah, so that you can be strengthened and 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 that God places you under uh, a covering so that we all can go up together. You understand what I'm saying? And so that's what this is. We, we just want to just go up together, the household of faith, joining in fellowship. So we're going to give them space to give their name. Praise the Lord, so all of you will know their name. Praise God. And I know we, we kind of know it, but we want to put it on record on the day. <laughs> name. Say your name. My name is Adrian Loza, and I'm here at the Lord's house, and I'm happy to be here with open hands. Thank Amen. you. Amen. My name is Alea, mm -hmm. and I am rejoining back into Revelation. Mm -hmm. So I am blessed, and I'm happy that God God got me back to his house again. Praise God. Praise God. And we say amen. And we're excited. We y'all know we're excited. We're excited. Praise God. God bless you. God bless you. And we'll be talking to you a little bit more. Praise God. Praise God. Amen. Amen. And he will add to the church such as should be saved. Because God has purpose for you. Amen. When they would come, we're going to get that coat. He said, loose him and let him go. Why? Because the Lord had need of him. Amen. Amen. So guess what? Nobody asking the question. We already know the Lord have need of you. And he loves you. And we do too. Amen. At this time, our brother, one of our big brothers, is here visiting. Amen. He just dropped in to praise the Lord with us. And he is one that literally tells the devil, hush your mouth. Amen. And this is Elder Watts. We're going to let him have some words. Amen. Can we say amen for Elder Watts? Amen. Amen. We love him and we love his wife and those wonderful boys. Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord on this side. Praise the Lord on this side. Praise the Lord on the organ. Praise the Lord on the drums. Let everything that have breath praise ye the Lord. Come on, somebody. Don't you, don't y'all. God has been good to you. God has been good to me. So since he's been good to me, shut up, devil. Shut your mouth. Hallelujah. See, the devil tried to kill me last week. Let me tell you something. Shut up. I, I, I said, shut up, devil. See, my journey from the last year, I told the Lord I'm going to get a chance to testify to it. It's so good to see you, Sister Cece. I watch your kids growing up in B. They were young kids, these young girls and boys at BT. But let me tell y'all something. When you've been trained the right way and you know your place in God, see, we didn't have no choice about when we wanted to go to church. <laughs> I got saved as a young man in my 20s. The devil tried to kill me out there in them streets. But God had purpose for me. See, when anointing of God is up on your life, the devil don't like it. Last year, I went to the doctor, and they diagnosed me with cancer. Shut up, devil. And I told the Lord, whatever it's going to be, I still trust you. If it's my time, it's my time. Ain't nothing I can do about it. So I talked with my wife with the doctor when he told us what it was. And me and my wife right then, we was in agreement, Sister Zena. And the Lord said, have them to take it out, Pastor. They had diagnosed me with prostate cancer, and it started getting kind of aggressive. And the Lord healed me 
from that. So somebody is here today that need to know that God going to heal you. As I was praying for your daughter and God told me, just put your hand towards her. Whatever is in her body that's going on, I'm going to do it for my name's sake and my glory. My dear sister, God's going to do it for you. It's so good to see you in many years. Then right after that, Sister Owen, don't you know that they diagnosed me and said, your heart is failing. Shut up, devil. I will walk as far as from here to the door, and I'll be in so much pain. My wife took me to Kaiser, but you know what? God is still good anyhow. Why would he have me to say this today? I told my wife, I says, I want to get a second opinion because Kaiser had diagnosed me with heartburn. So I told my wife, I'm going to use my benefits that I have through the Longshore as a Longshoreman. And I got a second opinion when I went in there and talked to the heart specialist, the cardiologist, he said, it's your heart failing. I told the Lord, I still trust you. Whatever it is, I'm going to trust you. The doctor said, you should be dead right now. Heart attack, a stroke. I traveled all the way to Alabama, my home state, to uh, my aunt, great aunt, was a uh, 100 years old, to her service. And I was down there, and I was having difficulty, but I kept, just kept saying, Lord, I need your help. I just rubbed my heart and my chest like this. I said, heal in the name of Jesus. Help me, Lord, in the name of Jesus that I can get back home safe to my family. When I got back here, Four o'clock in the morning, my wife rushed me to Torrance Memorial. God woke me up out of my sleep. The devil was trying to kill me in my sleep. Shut up, devil. Don't you know they, when I got there, Evangelist Clark, don't you know it was nobody in the emergency room? They took me straight in. They ran these tests and did everything. They said, you have a 100% blockage. And 87% blockage. They say you should be dead right now. But I say, God, point me to the right specialist. I was laying in on my bed in pain, but in my mind, I can tell God, point me to the right specialist. Hey, Kobo Shata. And God pointed me to the right specialist. He said, I can fix it. Hey, Kobo. Oh, Lord. Oh, Oh, Lord, have mercy. So what am I saying to somebody today? You got to trust God in spite of whatever you're going through. God see you where you at. God knows what you're going through. He knows your purpose. I was tall from the foundation of the world before God had created me in my mother's womb. But that devil is... He is threatened by the anointing on your life. Because you have purpose. Hallelujah. You ain't got to be scared of the devil. You tell the devil and you walk in your authority in the anointing of the Holy Ghost because it's the Holy Ghost what works in your life. But you can be kept if you want to be kept. The word went forth this morning. But God is talking to somebody in here. He's telling me to tell you, <laughs> you need to obey. You need to get right, church. Behold, I come quick. My reward is with me to give every man according to how his work should be. See, God had to bring me from the prison house, from gangs and drugs into the pulpit. I ain't got time to be playing with the devil. Shut your mouth, devil. You tried to kill me out there, but guess what? God said you should live and not die. You should prosper. Be in good health, even if your child wants to prosper. See, I'm on assignment. <laughs> See, God saved me 38 years ago from that stuff. He said, I'm going to set you 
under the leadership you should be. I was blessed. Got saved up under Bishop Wayne Davis. Then God put me up under the leadership of Suffolk and Bishop Don T. Greer, rest his soul. And Suffolk and Bishop, Gentry uh, Richards and Senior. He said, I needed to be trained the right way. So I know how to present to God's people. But let me tell you, baby, you better get right. Get right, because time is running out. It's trouble in the Middle East. It's trouble in Los Angeles. It's trouble on your job. It's trouble in your home. But I told the devil, you got to get out of my house. You ain't going to be in my marriage. You're going to leave my kids alone. If somebody in here would just trust God and praise God for your family. I'm not playing with the devil. I'm not playing with the devil. I told God every chance you get me to get up in front of your people, I'm going to tell them, get yourself right. Make your election sure. This man of God, let me tell you something. I don't want to take too much time. See, but the Holy Ghost is burning in me. I told God, I said, God, everywhere I go, I got to tell it. You ain't going to cut me off. I'm going to tell you what the Lord said. This is an honorable man of God. Touch not my anointing and do my prophet no harm. He may not be what you think he is, but he's God's man. <laughs> God told me to tell him, God has not forgotten about you. Uh, God has not forgotten about you. <laughs> he see all the hard sweat and tears. <laughs> he see how you got to come up here. You got to tell them to their teeth, whether they like it or not. Uh, God said he going to have the people here that he want to have here to help you in this ministry. You don't have to worry about being overlooked because God has chosen you for this church. <laughs> Hallelujah. Your heart's been hurting. See, this man has encountered a lot. People don't understand him. He's a mild man of man. He's a humble man of God. He reminds me of me because I sit, I sit back for years. They told me to do whatever I had to do, Sister Owens, for years. Sat on the front row, did what my pastors told me to do because I'm blessed today because I obeyed. See, I heard the message this morning, see, and it all came well, way back to when Saul was disobedient. When God tell you to stop it, he means stop it. When he say disconnect, you better unplug and be reconnected to the Holy Ghost. See, it takes you to have a mind of repentance. Why is God having me to say this today? Oh, Lord, have, I just came here wanting to just, oh, Lord, thank you, Jesus. Have a good time. You ain't going to haunt the want no more. He's going to supply every need according to his riches and glory in Christ Jesus. Through your suffering, you've been proven whether they... Believe it or not, because I'm praying for you, Pastor. And I'm going to say this, and I'm saying it openly, because I'm obeying the Holy Ghost. If he needs me, I'm coming. If he needs me, I'm coming. God has not forgotten about you. You have labored and loved too long. You've been humble and obedient. Well, God have me. I'm just trying to be obedient, saints. See, I sat back on the back row, humble, as God elevated me in the ministry. Whether they thought or what they thought of me, 
But I said, Lord, when I get the time, I'm going to preach it. I'm going to teach it like you tell me. He told me you got a Jeremiah spirit. Be not afraid of their faces. I ain't afraid of people. I'm not afraid of the saints. I'm going to tell you to your teeth whether you like it or not because I love you. My sister did just what God told her to do today. See, because we follow the anointing of the Holy Ghost. She wasn't out of place. God was choosing her. Because, you know why? The man of God needs help. The man of God needs help. I was at the hospital yesterday visiting my big brother, Suffolk Bishop David Richardson. And God told me what to tell him. And I told him just like God told me to tell him. Because when he calls me, he needs me, I go. If the Lord has something else in store for me, then I have enough sense to know I've been trained right. I called the bishop and let the bishop know. And he says, go do what God tell you to do. So, Revelation Church, get on fire for God. Get on fire for God. Whatever you have to do around here to take the pressure off the man and woman of God because they're together. Shut up, devil. They're together. They're one. And the devil didn't want me to come here. I was supposed to have been here last Sunday. Got sick. The devil thought he was going to kill me, but I told the Lord, you let me out of this hospital? And I'm healthy enough to get to Revelation. You should have saw me up this morning. I was tearing things up, trying to find something to put on because I said, I got to be there. And I've been blessed here today. I've been blessed here today. I don't know why the Lord had me keep zooming in on you, but man, I, my dear brother, Troy, I tell you, man, you have been doing a lot too. All the hurt and pain, suffering. People don't, they don't understand you for who you are. And you're still humble enough to sit in God's house and use the gift that God has given you. That's a gift. You have a gift. Use it to God's glory. See, this church they love to praise the Lord. That's why I said I have to go over there because they love, they're going to praise the Lord up in there. And when the Holy Ghost comes in, you better get out of the way because he can do more than anybody can do that won't bring the word. But the Holy Ghost saying, God's knocking, saying, I'm trying to get in, but y'all got your own program. He's knocking. And you got to read the scripture. He's knocking. I got to sing the song. He's knocking. Praise seems to got to come up now. We have a program where God says, when he come in, he have his own program. He's calling for young people. He called me at a young age in my 20s. I thought I had it all together. The nice fancy cars, money running out my pockets, doing things that I know that God was not pleased of. He had to strip me of everything, lost it all in the fast life. So young man, while God is near, and the day you hear his voice, harden not your heart. Because God's trying to save you. He's trying to use you at a young age. Because when I was laying in them streets with all those bullets in me, life leaving my body, looking up, and I said, 
in my ignorance in my young days, God, if you're God, show me your power. Didn't know what I was saying. God healed me. The bullet that went through here, one of the bullets, it enlarged in my heart, in the lining. So they had to cut me open like a chicken, took my heart out, fixed everything else, other organs that the bullets damaged, and had to put it back in. And when they put it back in, this is what they told my wife, Sister Watts, that I'm married to today for 28 years, Pastor. She was my girlfriend back then. Said the bullet, you could stick that much of your finger in the hole in the lining of my heart. I used to walk around like this. Went to therapy one day. The ball that I was squeezing, it just fell out my hand. My hand straightened up. My arm straightened up. I wasn't dragging my leg. No, I'm trying to tell. I'm testifying to what God can do. So that's why I'm not playing with people. When I come in here, I ain't got time to be talking to you. I need to hear what the Lord says. Don't touch me and tap at me. I know we, people do that in church. You know they do. Don't be, I need to hear what the Lord is saying to me. And I'm so glad that I'm here today in this church. This church is about love. Family. They love people. I've been watching it on Facebook, how they help the community. How they help in the church, the saints. But God is going to fill these seats with people that love God and obey the pastor. Pastor, I didn't mean to take so long. <laughs> hmm. Y'all pray for my family. On my mother's side, they all gone now. On my father's side, We've been burying family members. And this is a hard thing when you have to eulogize your family. You have to eulogize so many of them. And now, at some point, it's been affecting me because I didn't have the time to grieve at that time. I didn't want to worry about wife. Because <laughs> she, a wife knows her husband. And she look at me, she said, no, you're not okay. But last year, when my daughter's birthday came, she's been gone for 16 years. She was murdered in 2007. And God said, you're not going to cry today. And I didn't shed tears, but I just thank God for the time he lent her to me. So pray for my family. Pray for me because God has me on a mission. And I'm not going to stop until he has me to complete it. But you are in my prayers, Pastor. I mean what I say. You need me, you call me. Because we're supposed to help our brothers and sisters in the kingdom. They can help everybody else. But the man of God needs help right here at Revelation Church. God bless you in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We thank God for the word. We thank God for the confirmation. I'm saying that because God always sent a witness to himself. The Holy Ghost give witness. And you know, sometimes people wonder, I, I'm not, I, I don't want to sound like I'm off or nothing. You're not off. 
you right on point. And we say thank you for let for obeying God. You know, people need to be encouraged to obey. It takes faith to obey, but do you know it takes courage too? To obey God sometimes. So we thank God for men and women in the body of Christ that will cross boundaries to obey God. That would just go there because love sent them there. So I bless God for our big brother, amen? Big brother and my sister. You give her my love, Sister Watts. I call her a little girl. That's my name for her. Amen. God is good. Um, her mother used to be my our mother's road dog back in the day before salvation. <laughs> we was like, for real? What did y'all do? do? You know, you know, it's a small world, y'all. It's a small world after all. <laughs> we didn't know that until later. Wait, wait, your mother knew your mother knew my mother back when they were part before the Holy Ghost. Ooh, let me just tell y'all, be kind to everybody. <laughs> you don't know who's who. <laughs> God is good and his mercy endured forever. We thank God for you that came in the house. We thank God for you that came on Facebook. We thank God for you that came on Zoom. We pray God's blessings upon you. We pray that the Lord open doors and make ways for you and help you in your area of need. Amen. And, um, just before we call our pastor to speak the blessings over you, uh, we forgot there, we, we do give offering here, y'all. <laughs> we, we forgot, we forgot. But if you would like to give an offering, bring an offering, amen, you may do so at this time. We have various ways to give, amen. We have um, Zale, that's Revelation at R-C-A-F-L-A dot com. We have Givelify, Revelation Church. We have Cash App, app uh, dollar sign, R-C-A-F-L-A. And we have in person where you are now at 8229 South San Pedro Street in the city of Los Angeles, California. Amen. And uh, I've learned how to give through Zelle and I kind of like it. I can bring my offering before I come. Amen. But if you're in the house and you like to give in house or on these very through these various means, you may do so at this time. Amen. Amen. We give you a few minutes. Amen. And as um, I go to my seat, we're going to call our pastor. Amen. Oh, announcements. Announcements. Lady P, uh, I know the King has an um, event coming up um, February the Seventh, seventh, seventeenth, seventh. Anyway, seventeenth, amen. Lady King's um is is cancer prevention, and she is a multi-time survivor, and she knows so much, and she's just a miracle walking and a sweetheart of a miracle. So we are planning to be there. Amen. And we want the Lord to continue to bless us and um, to be able to bless her. Thank God for my other big sister coming through the door. Amen. And um, let's see, uh, is there any other announcements? We will be in prayer on Zoom on Mondays from 7 o'clock, beginning at 7 o'clock. And we are in Bible class on Zoom at 7, beginning at 7 o'clock. I'm going to just say beginning because we don't know when the Lord is, you know, ends. we just go as the Lord lead. But we're on Zoom, Mondays and Wednesday, Bible my, uh, prayer and Bible class. Amen. I don't think there are any other announcements. Amen. Um, not this Saturday, but next Saturday, we'll be on the parking lot giving out food. But if you know anybody that needs food between that time, just, you know, text us or something and we can make arrangements because we don't just wait for that time if somebody's in need. It's not just for us here, this community, but whoever in need, just make sure you contact us, amen? Okay, and at this time, the next voice you will hear will be the pastor of Revelation Church of the Apostolic Faith, who is my brother-in-law as well as my pastor. His name is Pastor Glenn Wayne Perkins, and many people call him Pastor P for short. We're going to say amen for Pastor P. Amen. Praise the Lord, saints. 
Praise the Lord. Like, did you enjoy the service today? I, I, I'm telling you, we, we said it, we said it many a times. We said, you know, Lord, we just want you to have your way. And Lord, from the time from the one from the time we came in to the time right, we're leaving out right now, God has had his way. Glory to God. Hallelujah. And we thank God for each and every one that was with us today. And we've been, and Lord, He's been answering. Glory to God. He has been answering. My God. We've been praying and fasting this month. And, and and we, oh Lord, we say we're not just fasting to be fasting. Glory to God. We're not praying just to be praying. Glory to God. There's a target. Hallelujah. Glory to God. There is a, oh, glory to God. But God has answered. Glory to God. And he's been answering. So, oh, and I thank God for, for answering. Thank God for seeing what the, oh, glory to God. He's doing it, saints. He's doing it. But I thank God for my, oh, my God. My brother, Elder Watts, thank you for being with us. And this, I, oh, Lord. Glory to God. My God, my God. See, see how I'm saying God, when God just, he just answers and he just steps in. And you don't know, when you ask God something, you don't know who, what, God just does it, glory to God. And I thank God because it, 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 what happens is he can, you know, he, can, he can take somebody from when the body that do this, but he can tell somebody to come from another place, glory to God. Because he say, I, unless you know that God, when God hears something, glory to God. Hallelujah. And that and the evangelist was saying, that poor man cried and the Lord heard his cry. And the Lord will let you know I heard your cry. Keep crying, saints. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Keep crying, glory. Keep crying out, glory. Hallelujah. It's some about glory to God. Oh, God. When you cry out, <laughs> he will let you know. I heard your cry. Glory to God. He would deliver. Hallelujah. He's not a God that just hear, but we say it all the time. He's a God that responds. Glory. Hallelujah. My God, my God. So I thank God for all the saints of God. Thank God for what I've heard. Thank God for just being awesome today. What he keeps on doing. Great, great. Oh, he's a great God. He's a mighty God. But at this time, saints, we're going to stand. But again, we say thank God to everybody. And again, a special thanks to my brother, to my friend, Elder Watts. Glory to God. And, why, and even though you might have seen each other at different places, but you know, and you said, he, he said, I'm going to be, he told me a while back, and he's here. Glory to God. We thank God he kept his word. Glory to God. And I thank God for how he's, what he's doing. He's heal, healing and every, oh Lord, strength, strengthening. And we're going to continue to pray for the family, pray for you, for the family, and pray for one another. We have to continue to pray for one another. We need each other, saints, more than you realize how much we need each other. Father God, in the name of Jesus, we thank you today, O oh Lord. We thank you, O oh Lord, for the move of God, O oh Lord. We thank you, O oh Lord, for answering every prayer, O oh Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you for coming in and strengthening, Lord, and healing, Lord, and delivering, O oh Lord, in the name of Jesus. We thank you for each and every family that's represented here right now in the name of Jesus. Lord God, we ask that you go before each and every one of us, oh Lord. We ask that bodies that need to be healed, we ask that you to heal in my heart. Deliver, oh Lord, in the name of Jesus. Save, oh Lord, in the name of Jesus. Lord God, we thank you and we praise you for it right now in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. But Lord God, you are worthy. Your word, hallelujah, it yet stands. Hallelujah. And is standing. Glory to God. Lord God, that must lose this place, but not your presence. We actually bring us back at the next appointed time. And we'll forever give you the honor. We'll forever give you the glory, O oh Lord. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen and amen. Be blessed, saints. Enjoy the rest of your evening. Let me get it. I'm going to get it again.